not mean to do that. All right, what's going on, guys? Welcome back to day number six of my Extraction of Mara playthrough. So as you guys can tell, we are here in the Handsome Jackpot DLC, and I am on Mayhem 6. So my plan was to do some off, uh, I guess, off recording uh, playthrough and just kind of get to the spot where the Claptrap Nest is, go level up, and then from there we can just immediately start gearing up after we hit max level. However, um, I got to the DLC and it was a grind just to get to where I'm at. Like I literally got through the first two areas and I'm telling you, it was it was rough. I even went and re-geared and tried to get some better stuff, which I'll show you guys those clips right now. So yeah, as you guys can see, I went and re-geared and tried to get some better stuff to help me out here, and I still could not really get much going on. Uh, I have this roided tracker here just so I can have some bonus cryo damage. Um, we have some other stuff here that we're kind of working with. So yeah, I decided to lower the mayhem level so that way we can at least kill stuff and you know just kind of progress here. We're, we're going to see how this goes real quick. So I'm going to pick this bad boy up. Okay, so stuff's dying, so I'm going to try and uh, get to the Claptrap Nest, plop through this DLC, and then level up so that way we can start doing some in-game farming as I go down. I need later. Delivery guaranteed. She looks like the chick from the fifth element. Alright, anyway guys, as you can see, we are finally level 72. We have finally made it, and I also threw some uh, extraction clips at the end of that one. So I tried to re-roll my plasma coil, and if I was playing uh, Zane and you know was running Sentinel, this would be amazing. Um, unfortunately, though, uh, I did get this plasma coil with the Sentinel Cryo anointment, so we're going to have to re-roll that. Uh, I got a new Dark Army. I got a Kick Charger with consecutive hits, which is pretty good. Um, and then, yeah, we, we got some level 72 stuff. Um, not very much. So now what we're going to be doing for the rest of this episode is pretty much gearing up. There's a lot I got to go get. Um, tizzies are probably like one of the main priorities. I lucked out and got the plasma coil. Uh, I got to go get a shield and some tizzies and hopefully find some decent roll drops. 
I just woke up from the most amazing nap I think I've ever taken in my life. I needed it too. Man, I was I was so tired. I didn't get ammo before I came over here. This is gonna be fun. Alright. Yeah. I just I, I woke up from a nap, man. I was so tired and I'm like, I'm gonna record a little bit today. I need to need to get some more footage. Send some gear back, shall we? Okay, I definitely like that. Okay. Yeah, it makes me feel a little better about this room. Let's send some gear back, shall um. we? Way too hard on my skincare regimen to get caught out in a murder case. I still don't have to <laughs> better. I'm gonna equip that other one just in case we have some other Use the shoes, bro. Go back. There we go. Got to make sure my hard-earned loot makes it home. Okay. Five for number two. I got loot in the bank. Pistol damage, let's go. What a good I'm kind of extracting this everything. That's pretty good. Um, I don't really, I don't know. I just like to crack it open. And we already have some kick charges. Okay, sweet. It's on its way. Tension, you wouldn't have been surprised. some reason my plasma coils got deleted too, um, my tizzies got deleted. Oh my god, I have to go re-gear again.
Alright, so one extracting montage later. We are kind of back to where we were before. Um, I had to go extract all that stuff again, and then I had to go refarm iridium, re-roll everything. So this is how we're looking right now. So we got this faster five tizzy with consecutive hits. We have this tizzy with action skill active weapon damage. Uh, consecutive hits kick charger, we still have that. Uh, we have this plasma coil with action skill active. Um, let's see, we're also rocking this big pharma tracker. I might do an arms race run to see if maybe I can't get me something else. Uh, we have a dark army with this anointment. I decided to keep the nemesis because why not? Um, and then we have consecutive hits tizzy on this one and then weapon grass or grass weapon damage excuse me um so we got some pretty decent anointments um as far as gear goes i literally have this just because it has melee damage and i couldn't find anything else um i'm thinking about re-rolling this one as well the problem is you guys can see i only have 23 iridium um as far as class mods go i've been kind of switching up depending on what we're doing I'm thinking about maybe trying to do one more class mod run just to see if I can get something that might complement my plasma coil a little bit. Uh, we'll just have to see. But I'm thinking we might be okay um, as far as gear goes. I think the skill tree is all right, um, and we can just kind of go and try to take on the Malawan takedown. I don't know how that's gonna go. Um, we might be relying a lot on the plasma coil. That kind of seems to be like what's really dominating. Um, but yeah, uh, major setback. We we had to spend like a day and a half trying to re-gear and trying to get everything, and then refarming all that iridium was hell. <laughs> and then I just had to sit there and re-roll and then go refarm iridium. It's been, it's been a task. So I'm thinking this is the finale, guys. I'm thinking we're we're finally at that finale point where we're gonna go take on the Malawan takedown. And I'm thinking, let's just end with another arms race run, and then we're going to go try it out. go it's time Malawan Lorelei, take down I'm outside the Malawan facility Jesus Christ. Tizzy, help me out here, Tizzy. Ah, Jesus. We're gonna change our action skill elements to corrosive. Ooh, okay. Okay. Jesus fucking. Oh, this is hell. This is hell. Oh, this is hell. My god. Alright, we're 
we're gonna try to pass it by him. Here is where this is going to get really bad. Leave me alone. Jesus Christ. Oh my god. Oh, I don't know that. What's left? Jesus Christ. Alright, let's go. Now that is definitely your target. Light that giant bastard up. Cryo and me, you bastards. You low. Oh, come on. Oh, wait, I got him. Right, cool. Got him. 
Oh, I got one of them. All right, come on. Come on, come on. Come on. Oh, shit. I had to have to do this again because it didn't actually show me completing the challenge and beating it and getting that like official, you know, conquer, takedown, whatever message. So here I am doing it fucking again. And there we go. Takedown confirmed. That is the second time I have completed this challenge and I am still ecstatic. My last celebration took longer than 90 seconds. So oh yeah, I didn't get the uh, full clip. Guys, we did it. Challenge is complete. We have beaten the Malawan takedown, not once, but twice on true takedown mode. And man, it feels good, dude. It feels so good that we actually completed this challenge. And uh, I already did a breakdown of the gear, but thankfully I remember exactly what I said. I started off by saying this right here was the absolute MVP, and I think a lot of it has to do with this Icebreaker White Elephant giving me additional SMG damage and additional radiation damage on top of that. Um, and then I also get cryo damage and then on action skill in I get cryo damage because of my grenade But man, we we freaking did it like like we did it the the challenge is a hundred percent complete um, The tizzies they did all right, but it was really the plasma coil. I used the kick charger maybe twice. I think um, The searing ripper was cool um, I, I used that a couple times, uh, but I, I really just relied on ties that bind that was like the big thing here uh, with this whole entire build at the end um, the Dark Army, uh, I didn't really get a chance to use that too much. I went ahead and just kept the Nemesis because why not? It was like one of the guns that survived the great purge of me deleting a character that I was using for storage. I found out what happened. So I deleted a character that I was using for storage and I guess I deleted the wrong thing. Erased like my weapon trinkets and just absolutely everything is gone. Uh, like all my skins, cosmetics and such. So that sucked. But anywho, um, I kept the Magnificent because it's a poor man's light show. Um, more faster five tizzy consecutive hits. Uh, I didn't, I didn't um, re-roll this one. I just kept it on on action skill and bonus and scenery damage. And then this one, the unending boogeyman. I went ahead and just re-rolled it to uh, weapon grasp. Found this one on my first run. I didn't equip it or nothing, but I thought it was a good rope a dope breaker. Gives me action skill damage. Um, I got this Kensei with pistol damage for the tizzies. Um, I didn't use the trick shot, but it does have a good anointment on it. And then I just kept this epicenter since it gives me bonus and scenery damage. Um, I have this gas mask that gives me on action skill and melee damage and this gas mask here gives me uh, Shock damage. So, you know in case I ever just want some extra shock damage I can go ahead and switch off there uh, the best guard I have it on action skill start I don't really think did too much, but I just went ahead and kept it anyway uh, Kept this moxie's endowment um, this kensei here I kept it all through the playthrough just because of that weapon critical damage. It's only 5% But I was like, you know, that's better than nothing um, and then COV weapon fire rate, so that gives my tizzies a little extra damage along with a dull weapon fire rate. But, you know, even though I, I totally have a bunch of dull weapons. Um, and then I kept the snow drift just so I can have a snow drift, you know, in case I ever just need to, you know, fly around the map. Um, but really, guys, the combination of the white elephant with the SMG damage, the plasma coil, man, I, I went in. Um, and there's another ability, I don't remember which one it was. It was this one right here, indiscriminate, was absolutely dominating. Like, I would be firing at enemies and uh, ties that bind, getting that extra damage, and Wotan was getting destroyed by the ricochet damage, man. But holy crap. Oh, dude. So we got a, a Time Street Kibsworth. Okay, I'm going to pick that up. Now that, you know, I'm not really limited on what I can do with this character, I can kind of do whatever I want. But guys, I hope you did enjoy this playthrough. Uh, we we conquered well, there's another one. We conquered the Malawan takedown on true takedown mode not once, but twice, twice guys. We defeated it with this character. I'm so excited, man. Um, that was a super fun playthrough. We we did hit a bind there at the very end of it. No pun intended. Um, with all my stuff getting erased, but you know we we, we plowed through it. We went ahead and just re-geared and got everything going again. I went and farmed some iridium twice and just. Got some extra stuff, man. Um, so here we are, guys. Uh, this is the end of the playthrough. 
And don't worry, guys, I do have another interesting playthrough that is going to be completely different from this one to help you do enjoy. Along with a third playthrough that a friend and I are actually doing as like a duo allegiance run um, that we're kind of recording on the side. And once we're complete with that, I'll be able to just kind of upload those, you know, and then I won't have to like spend days recording for it, you know. Um, so, we'll, you know, we, we have some playthroughs coming, you know, I have some ideas and it seems like this uh, series was well received. So, you know, I'm definitely going to keep going with it. But thank you all so much for the continued support. Hope you did enjoy it. Take care. I love you guys. And I'll see you in the next playthrough. Don't forget to like, follow, and obey.